breaking. Trump lawyer Alina Habba slams New York over Trump's $300 million plus fine and says they messed with the wrong guy. Okay, Alina Haba joins us, attorney for former President Trump. Alina, good to have you with us. In terms of the 30-day deadline from Judge Angeron to pay this extraordinary fine that, jo that uh, Jonathan Turley calls obscene, um, is yeah. that the case? Does he really have 30 days to pay this fine? And if so, there are some reports that he will sell off almost all, if not all, of his New York assets. What can you tell us about that? No, I mean, I would never get into anything privileged, but I can tell you what the rules are. And within 30 days, even if we choose to appeal this, which we will, we have to post the bond, which is the full amount and some. Um, and uh, we will be prepared to do that. So, is, but how much is the bond? Well, it so it's you're, you have to break it up. So there were obviously individual defendants that got fined. There was the company that got fined. But you're looking at roughly, let's call it close to four hundred million dollars for something that he did nothing wrong. Look. It's no coincidence, and I'll say it, they know by looking at his statements of financial condition that this guy is worth a lot of money, billions and billions of billions of dollars. And that didn't even include his brand, Martha. But what they're trying to do between this case, between my last case, is put him out of business. It's not going to work, number one. Number two, what they're doing is a scare tactic. Unfortunately, they picked the wrong guy to pick on, in my opinion, because he's strong, he's resilient, and he happens to have a lot of cash. Now. That doesn't mean that it's right. It doesn't mean it's okay. It's grotesquely insane. Uh, I was speaking to somebody today that actually mentioned that there are countries that literally make that in a given year in certain industries, countries in this world. But they would find somebody for what they call understating their statement of financial condition and making Deutsche Bank and Zurich, who, by the way, they still work with, money. But they're going to find him that kind of thing. It, it's absolutely insane. No, there will be no mayhem for the Trump organization, unfortunately. I know that probably was Miss James's goal and, and judging Gorin, but that is not going to be the case.